Hello and welcome, Sheriff again here and in this video I want to show you how to attack bombers in simulator mode of Warthalner efficiently so we can take out those bombers before they can reach their target and I'm pretty sure if you are playing Warthalner right now in the simulator mode you know those bombers can be very very annoying uh, with their mouse aim and so in the forums is a lot of drama going on about the bombers and I'm really one of those guys who are saying that the bomber problem has to be resolved and uh, we we need some solutions here but of course this is not in my hand uh, so I want to show you in this video how to kill bombers more efficiently so we get longer rounds, fairer rounds and maybe around with some dogfights and stuff. The first question is, which plane should I take to kill bombers? And this question is uh, really answered really quickly. Planes with a lot of guns and preferable big guns. So every German plane with a lot of 20 or 30 millimeter is a potential bomber killer. I personally prefer the Doras, the K4 or the Antons, depends on which battle rating I want to play but uh, I personally prefer really the German planes to kill bombers. Of course, not always we have uh, German versus uh, US or German versus whatever rotation, so I can't take the German planes all the time. But if I play Japan, I rely on the KA-84 or the N1K, for example. Okay, the N1K is really not a plane anymore, but still has a lot of guns and kills bombers. Fair enough, I think. Some people like to play the attacker planes to go versus bombers, but I personally don't like them because I still like to have the edge versus enemy fighters, so when I'm intercepted by fighters I want to dogfight them and when I am in an attacker I have no chance to do that, so I like fighters more. The second ability of a plane I really like is uh, speed. Of course, speed helps a lot to catch a bomber or to get away from a bomber. And the third ability of a plane I like is when it's good armored. But of course, a single 50 cal in War Thunder is enough to lit up your fuel tank. So it's always dangerous to attack bombers. Uh, how, no matter how good the approach is, there's always the possibility to get hit by a single 50 cal and you are on fire. But somebody has to do the job and I really like burning bombers. The next question is, and often asked in the forums, how do I find enemy bombers? And this is again answered really quickly and simple. The enemy bombers have a task. They want to attack our bases or our main objectives that can differ from map to map. But for example, at Norway, there are those three bases in the south at Bergen and they of course want to attack them. Of course they have uh, air spawn as well, so they are going in a straight line to the bases and want to attack them. When I'm flying against a nation with a lot of bombers, I always turn off Joint of Progress, so I'm at the beginning of the round in the match, uh, so I can intercept them. I climb behind my bases and I climb all the time, because the bomber air spawn is in a bit higher altitude than the fighter's air spawn, so I start to climb all the time. I fly behind my bases, and uh, when I'm at a sufficient altitude, the bombers mostly spawn at two and a half or three kilometers altitude, and when uh, at that altitude, or or even higher, I start to fly directly in the direction of the bomber spawn and most of the times I see very early in the round the small dots at the horizon and I start to fly directly in the direction of them. And now begins the very important part, how to attack the bomber efficiently and of course even more important is to survive that encounter. Most bombers are very well armed to their six, so they can shoot very, very good to the back and can shoot very good to the side, but they have some weaknesses. Basically, they are defenseless against attacks from the front, so my first attack always comes from the front, and that's the reason I position myself behind my own bases, I can meet them from the front. The second attack is most of the times uh, after a split S or Immelmann turn when I pass the bomber and to illustrate that a bit better I show you now some examples. And as you can see there is a V24 directly coming my way, he makes violent moves to avoid the confrontation but I try to hit his wing and I hit his left wing and his cockpit a bit 
and at this state there is no real possibility he can avoid the crash um, when he's getting hit in such a state so he's going down and in the second example I want to show you we are chasing a B-17 with uh, acrobatic smoke so a uh, real pro as a B-17 pilot and that helps us to attack the bomber in a very very steep angle as a reminder the angle in which you are attacking the bomber can't be steep enough so when you have the chance and coming from that altitude down to a bomber do it as you can see we lit up his left wing and he is burning and when a bomber is burning I don't attack a second time at least not for the moment. I watch him from a safe distance, safe distance means more than one kilometer and not even that is sometimes enough to prevent a hit but from a kilometer the chance getting hit is relatively low. So I watch him burn and I wait until he explodes or is going down somehow. And if I only get the kill assist that's fine with me as well. Okay, one last time I show you a classic approach from directly from the front. Uh, you see the bomber coming my way, I try to keep the bomber directly on my nose and I try to attack from yeah, maybe 10 to 30 degrees from below. I like to attack from above but you don't have always a choice so I attack in this example from below. I fire my small caliber rounds relatively early to find the moment where I can shoot with my 30mm and as you can see when I'm really really close I start to shoot with my 30mm and tear his wing apart and the bomber goes down. Maybe one last tip to survive such a head-on confrontation. First of all, keep sure that you don't attack a B-25 or anything else which has front gunners uh, directly from the front. Keep your attack from yeah, 30 to 10 degrees from below or above so you can't get reached by the front turrets of a bomber. And when you are past the bomber, you have done your attack successfully or whatever, uh, try to avoid the cone of fire of the rear turrets uh, relatively quickly. So split S or make an Immelmann turn relatively quick. Try to minimize the time you are on the sixth of the bomber, even when you are flying away from the bomber. That's very really important. So in the last chapter of my video I want to discuss or to tell you how to approach bombers where you haven't the chance to come directly from the front and in the example you see here I chase a B-17 coming directly to our base and as you can see he is relatively slow so I try to get some altitude above him. I try to keep him in the little corner of my, um, of my cockpit so between um, the wing and the engine and I try to keep him inside all the time. Uh, I use my track ER here. Uh, if you don't have track ER I can recommend to set up some keys for head movement so you can watch the bomber in your cockpit all the time. And when I'm above the bomber I try to attack from yeah, 3 to 4 o'clock from the side. I attack one wing as you can see I put some shots into the right wing, he hits my engine but he's the last one in the enemy team so I don't care anymore. And as you can see as I was past the bomber I don't Immelmann turn the, at that point. That would give him more time to shoot at me so I try to overtake him and get in one plane of his flight path try to turn around in front of him and now the classic approach from the front and I tear his wing apart I kill the bomber and the base is safe and we win the round. The next example is um, yeah, very similar to the last one. I spot an enduring confrontation this year too coming from our bases and returning to their bases. I attack him from the high 3 to 4 o'clock, see that I don't hit him properly and I turn around. And I see he's very very slow so I can instantly attack him again coming directly above him and can line up some shots and hit his tail and tear it apart so he goes down. 
So that's for this video. I hope you liked it. In this video you saw basically my two standard attacks versus bombers. Of course uh, there are some attacks in between. You can come from below for example. It's a bit more risky because when you are approaching the bomber from below and you miss him and uh, then you are of course above him and in most cases you are very very slow and not really far above him and he can attack with his top turrets so that's the reason I avoid attacks from below but not always you can choose where to attack from when you want to protect your bases or when you want to defend your airfield or, st or something like that. If you have any questions so please ask them in the comments. If you liked the video please rate it, please like it, uh, that helps me a lot and I hope I see you next time. Bye bye.